2154 John Deere Logger Hydraulic Excavator and today we're going to replace worn out starter motor. Okay, let's get started. By the way guys, I have a video how to replace final drive sprockets, no hassle and how to service the reduction gear. Alright, if you first time to the channel, please subscribe, very appreciated that. And under the hood we have 6.8 Powertech John Deere diesel and that is our starter we're going to replace Okay, I'm going to turn my night switch aka master switch off You can disconnect the negative battery terminal and I'm going to test make sure I don't have a power to the starter My test light works Checked and I have a test light connected to the ground and I'm going to prop the hot wire for the battery make sure it's turned off Okay, we don't have a juice flowing to the starter and we're safe to start. Okay, let's put some shinkushi, make sure it's comfortable because most of the time we'll be leaning down. Okay, three quarters inch socket. Let's remove the hot battery cable from the starter. As you can see, it's out. Nice and easy. Okay, we have ground wire to remove from the starter stud same three quarters wrench here we go two gra ground wires removed okay 15 mil socket and we're starting with a very bottom bolt i'm using long extension and the three eighths drive let's put the extension pipe to break it loose good let's remove that bottom bolt here we go it's out now we're going to move to the middle bolt let's break that one loose and this is original starter which was installed at the factory here we go middle bolt is out now we have one more left at the top same 15 mil and we're breaking that one loose and this starter has 11,010 hours pretty impressive all right that bolt is out and as you can see there is a fuel lift pump i have a video how to replace that one when we had the fuel and oil contamination check that video as well if you're interested okay now we have to undo the signal wire down to the starter solenoid there's a phillips screw to remove and uh, now we have a uh, access to that guy let's undo that wire here we go let's place it in a good position and remove that wire we have a uh, three bolts and three wires to remove and uh, it's pretty simple and this engine is widely used on agriculture equipment and forestry machine and construction machines okay starter is out as you can see all those studs and uh, there's uh, three of them we removed and three mountain bolts what's happened the starter solenoid started to act up and contacts were not okay everything's clean i cleaned the bolts and I'm going to clean the mountain hall and make sure it's all nice and ready for the installation. Let's clean that bell housing part where a new starter will go and uh, make sure we're assembling everything's clean and ready. Okay, also going to clean all eyelets. Yeah, make sure connections are good and electricity can flow all right and uh, i got my signal wire attached to the solenoid before i start mounting starter to the bell housing and first i started the middle bolt just that's easier and you have that bolt holding the starter and then i went and uh, started bottom one and then I'm going to put it upper one. Okay, all bolts are there, all tight, electrical is connected and uh, we're good to turn our night switch on. Starter is good, it's all installed, tools are all cleaned up 
and I'm going to crank the engine and machine should start. <laughs> Start it right up, it's warming up idle and uh, no more a problem with the starter. Yeah, before you start replacing the starter, first check to make sure you have a good connections on all wires going to the starter. Thank you so much guys for your time. If you have questions, put it down in the comment section below. Bye bye.